Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Workers and Resources. Hope you're having a good day today. I'd like to take a moment while we're still waiting for, you know, the expansions for aluminum and our airport design, develop, or manufacturing, all that stuff. I'd like to take a moment and do some housekeeping, right? And one of the things I'd like to start with is this road right here. We have a traffic jam issue. I'd like to kind of solve it a little bit. I've noticed that a considerable portion of cars are turning right here at this road. They all want to go that way, right? Uh, also, a, a considerable portion of our vehicles are black. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that means that we, they've cycled through everything. I'd like to keep the supply of cars pretty solid. So we're going to switch to this little F-126. And we're going to make a bunch of them. And we're just going to have the game basically keep making these as the, as the model car. Because these ones are very cheap and they're very fast to make. They, they, take, they take like no time at all to create compared to these other black ones, right? The black ones are worth more when we go to export them. And this one over here, I suspect, is not full. Yeah, not even close. Not even a little bit close. So these things are out of cars. And uh, it's just because these takes a long time and we're, we're constantly moving them with trucks to, to get around. And then the train is also coming by. You can see it. It's already on its way to get more right so we want we really want to to do that right and this has a uh, multiple routes. so basically this train now is taking uh, cars from this and bringing it over to the center part uh right here i think yep uh, and then it's going to um go ahead from there after it drops it off it's then going to head over here and load cars from here that's why this doesn't have very many and then it takes it to the border all the way over there. It takes it all the way over there and drops it off, right? We sell it, right? Sell all of our, all of our vehicles all over. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's dropping them off here. Yeah. And then the access is being sold. Phew. Off it goes. Okay. So like the hope is that every depot, every depot that holds cars with the exception of this one is full all the time, or at least near full all the time so yeah anyway we're creating cars and we want to make it to where we're making these easy ones because they're gonna let us have more so we're gonna say yellow ones are gonna be made there and then we'll make blue ones and whatever we'll have a whole bunch of those cars running around all right because we have enough diversity on the road now where everything is just looking schnazzy except for except for this right Except for this road. So a lot of these guys are turning right. I'd like to, to give them an alternative route. Now, I, I do not want to make this a one-way. Because I need trucks to be able to go in here and, and fluidly get the, the crops. And I don't want traffic from this road to get in their way. These are farm roads. I want to keep them that way. However, I do need to provide some sort of alternative. So I'm going to make a compromise here. First thing I'm going to do... This, I think this is going to immediately clear it up. I'm pausing it so you can see how congested it is. I think what you'll find is after I do this, this is going to be like almost a barren wasteland. There won't be any cars. All right, maybe not that good, but I think it'll help. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, take a regular asphalt road. road. I can speak. Road. Roods. And uh, we're going to maybe take it like, I don't know, here. I don't want to kind of get rid of the snapping thing, though. There we go. And then uh, we're gonna curve it around this away to there. I think right there, yeah. And then from there, we will bring it all the way over and connect it to that. Now, the interesting thing about this intersection is that this is a one way and this is a one way, right? So they shouldn't be obstructed from going anywhere because this is gonna be a one way as well. And so we'll just be able to take the abundance of cars that are coming from this area and going that direction and give them an alternative way to do that where they aren't really obstructed. And then the only cars that should be here at that point, probably, I mean, we are going to allow this to stay a two-way, but the only cars that should really be using this are cars heading uh, from right to left in this particular view. But let's go ahead and hit this. Now, I want to give another way, too. I, some of these guys, I've, I've been watching the trap traffic, and some of these cars go this way, they turn, and then they turn right. And you can see them, they're already moving that way, right? They, they head this direction. Um, so I'm going to give them another easy route, too. And we're just going to go kind of from here, and we're going to let them basically go that way. Okay? 
Now, I know what you're thinking. I, I thought you wanted to keep him off this road. I do. I don't want this road to be a one-way. Uh, and I don't want this road to connect to here. Um, however, I didn't say anything about this alternative route. So, we're going to make this road a one-way road all the way to here. This is going to be one way this direction. This keeps the traffic that's moving on this headed in that way. And that way the trucks that are moving this direction to get to the crops can do so easier. And then we move this to this direction and we move this this direction. All right. So a couple of one-way streets to give people an alternative route. Now it takes a little bit of time, right? They already have sort of predetermined their route when they leave. So they're not necessarily going to use this, even though it's the best route to use now. But eventually, they'll start leaving destinations, recalculating routes, um, and they'll start using this new road instead of this one. And I think you'll find that that will make traffic a lot more tolerable in this area. Would it be better to have this be a two-way? In hindsight, absolutely, right? Or have basically have this right here be the same as what we did right here, right, with the two one-ways? Because this is, I mean... Obviously, there's not a lot of traffic here, and we didn't need to do it on this road. But this approach, perhaps not so spread out, but this approach, way better for high traffic zones. So I definitely think that's a better that's a better call. We learned our lesson over here. This was very congested. And now look at it. It's, it's beautiful. You know? Despite having all of these cars and the parking lots and everything, this area here is it's very fluid. It's very nice. It helps a lot when you get the the road and the rail to not cross too. So like going over this, that definitely helps, right? We're, we're clearly seeing that there's a better way to do things, right? And look at this, they're starting to use this now. They're able to get to their destinations a lot more fluid. And look, a barren wasteland, I say. <laughs> Maybe not completely barren. Uh, over here though, like traffic heading that direction, definitely still an issue. And I can't make this a one way. Like, there's just, there's just no way I could do that, I don't think. Um, so, like, if I wanted to make this a little bit better, we could. Another reason why this might be getting stalled is the trains, right? I mean, we, we might have a problem with the train doing that. And that's, you know, that's something. In hindsight, we could design it differently. And the next time I have a column, like the next country, I'll totally design that stuff differently with my uh, current experience uh, in mind. Absolutely. Unemployment too high. Excuse me? Baking powder? 33 without a job. 9 out of 10 times, and this is apparently the 1 out of 10, 9 out of 10 times when that happens, it's because I've made the building specific to a certain destination to work, uh, but they actually can't work there because it's overstaffed. Uh, 9 out of 10 times. Apparently this time, not the case. So what is with you, and why do you not have any job? Why are you not able to get anything? Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me? What in the world? That doesn't make any sense. You can easily get there. You can easily get here. You just you just walk there. It's right there. No food? No meat? Unable to get to the hospital? That one's actually believable. I don't have a hospital over here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a hospital over here. I haven't I didn't do that. Uh a hospital right here. Um we'll get one. On this side, is this acceptable? I think this is close enough. If there's a walkway that goes, maybe it'd be better to do it. Eh, it'd be, it would have been better to do it like right here in the middle of everything, but um, I think we can make this work as long as I get a walkway. See how some of these walkways, we can get them to like, you know, from this road, right? And it doesn't go from a house directly. It goes from the road, so it allows them to kind of move between blocks, right? So they can move from the store, right? They can get from here. They can walk all the way through here. They can come down the street, and then they can cross here, right? And then if we could just put another one in. Something like, you know, maybe here. Or maybe, maybe closer. I don't know. Like, uh, might not, it might look weird, but it, it, it's... It has to work. It doesn't have to look good. It just has to work. So something like that. This would allow people to get from over here and walk directly here, which is what we need in order to place a hospital here. So I'm going to place a hospital. I think right. I kind of want to do it like this. 
but I, I wanted to get it as close as possible to the road though uh, because walkways so how about like this this will work yeah this will work so then they can walk directly into it and then we're going to have this road which is nah it's a little bit the uh, road's a little bit iffy though I'm going to have to go on an angle just a slight angle with this road yeah we'll go like this and then head over like this I don't know maybe we'll just curve it over doesn't matter maybe make it a little bit interesting you know Who cares make it interesting and then we'll have a cross street right here you want your hospital to have access to obviously multiple different directions to go uh, I think general city design doesn't necessarily play a role here but uh, when you look at other hospitals and other cities and stuff typically what you'll find and not always of course this, this, this is a general thing you'll find civic services or city services to be near the main road but not on the main road and that allows them to go any direction on the main road they want uh, especially in the situation of like one-way streets and stuff so like you could say this is the main road and the hospital is right there but technically the driveway is off the main road right and that's that's usually what you'll see with uh, most hospitals it, these are the kinds of things that people don't necessarily uh, think about but you can yeah um, Okay, so I purchased a few cars to just to have them uh, in here to get started and get the ball rolling here. But I would like to get car deliveries uh, set up in this area. I also noticed... Uh, oh, hang on. Hey. 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 Uh, boat ready. Uh, you can go play with the Soviets. Off you go. Uh, so I noticed that uh, this area here is just completely over capacity there's just too many people trying to shop so a lot of unhappy people here they can't get what they need uh it's just because we're over overbooked i need to change this I need to swap the area pretty much entirely so i've got a new idea and there's a kindergarten kindergarten here i'd like to do something with that too so we're going to demolish the kindergarten the pub and the shopping center three two one go just gonna go crazy with it all right and we're gonna fix this all right, get rid of that and just back up all these walkways, okay? And the people are going to get pissed. Say, what in the world? What is going on? I lost my booze. Why am I not able to get my fancy record player? Why? Let me show you. Because I got a new... I got a new place for you, okay? We're just going to pull these back a little bit. And, of course, I think you can see what's coming. We needed it. The new shopping center. The big shopping center, right? We're putting in a shopping mall for all these people, okay? Now, I'm hoping to align this to where I can still have it like this. Like, directly connected to that, right? And it looks like it's going to fight me on that. Oh, it's going to fight me on it. Oh, can I angle it? I'm all right with angles. Uh, I've had people comment about, like, wanting to get it proportional or symmetrical. We don't do that here. Hi, welcome. Have you met me? <laughs> We don't really do that here. I could give two shits less, but that's about it. About symmetry uh, in this in this channel and my games and the things I play. I don't care. Uh, I, I like it to be a little bit wild. I like it to be just a little bit off center. It makes it more interesting for me. The, oh, there it goes. I was like, man, you have to be right on to get this thing to work. Does that work? It does. Okay. Directly connected to the food, right? So when we make food... It just goes boom right there. Now, the problem with this though, actually I'm seeing the problem with it right now. <laughs> the problem with this is that I can't get anything else delivered because while the small one, this is the strangest thing. I don't know if they did this. Why would they do this intentionally? The small one has two connection points, right? And the big one has a single connection point. Very strange. Uh, so I think instead, now that I'm, I'm noticing this as I place it. Uh, hi, let's just pull this back. Can we just get the tool? I don't want to like... Come on, can I click? There we go. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh, and... Bye, yep. 
we're gonna have to connect it to this. I need it connected to the forklift network, right? So I, I didn't want it to be that way, but it has to be that way. It just does. We might need to make some considerations on where things are here. Otherwise, I got to bring it in with trucks, and that's just gross. I don't want to do that. Not when I can. Not when I can just connect it to the forklift network. But there's actually a legitimate problem here. Uh, I may not be able to get it connected to forklift network. It might be a too extreme of an angle. Um, I can always move that node, though. Yeah, I could probably do that. We'll 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 try that. So a little bit off center, about like that. Eh. Now it needs to be. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move it anyway. Let's move it now, just so I can see what I'm dealing with. All right, just get it out of here. Yeah, there we go. I think uh, we put this about like here. Let's say I do that hypothetically. Well, I did it literally, but let's say I do it hypothetically as well. Uh, can I connect that straight? Yes. Yes, I can. Which, that means I should be able to connect them all together, too. So, there's a meat storage right there. I, I can dig that. Can I connect all four of these points? Jackpot! It's like I planned it this way. Go. Do it big. All right. Obviously, we want to build this right away because we're just robbing people of all their stuff. I am also going to quickly buy resources for the shopping center just so I don't get people upset and leaving and all that stuff. Um, but then it'll be brought in, you know, it's going to be brought in by themselves at that point. So, uh, ooh, fancy. Goodbye. No? There it goes. And like that. Very good. And we'll upgrade this road because we can. Might as well. Okay. I don't know why we're do not doing that with rubles we should be we should be doing this with rubles yep all the things build that too all right so everyone's like dude no our stuff i know it's it's terrible can the pub fit here that's my big question and yeah, it's a really big question it's like i can't believe it i hope it can it can pub on the corner pub on the corner now i want it to hug this walkway as much as possible, but the thing about this game is you can place walkways really close to buildings, but you can't place buildings really close to walkways. So I need to remove this just to replace it. Even if I put it in the same spot, it needs to be gone so I can place this where I want it specifically, because I want a walkway between these two buildings. So we're gonna go right about like this. That should be good, right about there. And then I keep doing this. Please build with resources or with, with money, okay? And then I, uh, I wanna go ahead and get this to walk straight through like that. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go and connect like this. Okay, then this connects down. This is gonna connect over because reasons, I, I guess. You can connect there. All the things are connected, all right? And you can go this way and come down and connect there and there, okay? And then you're there, awesome, you're there, very good. And you don't have a space to connect to because I just took yours away. Oh, yep, laggy lags. I am definitely getting frame rate issues now. We have a pretty big, you know, we got we got a pretty big little, little, little colony here, a little country here, so I can understand that. I was really hoping that you would connect. I might need to... I need to finagle this. Might need to cheat just a little bit here. I uh, might. Mm -hmm. Can I connect to that? No? In a straight line? How about now? Haha, -ha, I win. Suck it. <laughs> Alright, good. That works. So everything gets built. Everything will be fine. We're gonna have you come that way so it's even closer. And then all these people can be like, they can all rejoice. Now, of course, I took away their kindergarten. Uh, so, like, you know, they're going to get a little finicky about that and save our kids and all that. Uh, one idea would be to make this a road between the buildings, which I actually like this idea. But we're going to do that, too. We're tearing things down and improving them. Oh, the ambulance is using the walkways. 
I thought you couldn't do that. What happened to what happened to that not being possible, huh? Yeah. I don't I still don't know what's up with that hospital back there. Still don't know why that happened. Uh, so let's tear these down. Yep. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Very good. And cut this. Okay. So now what we do, I am hoping this fits because oops, I actually need to do this too. Because this is this is like a very well, it's a tight gap. So, uh, but it does look like it'll fit. At least I, it looked like it would fit. So I'm hoping it will. Right there, and then straight through like that. Perfect. Now we just take the walkway, we go straight across like so, and it's like it never happened. Right? Isn't that nice? Nice road that can go through there, so you don't have to go all the way around to get into here. Yeah. We're making improvements. Uh -huh. It's dangerous. We're making improvements. Now, the pub is a little bit iffy because I can't get in that way, but they can still go around this way, and that's okay. And they can also do that, which they are doing very well, like pros. Uh, so the next thing is I was going to put a kindergarten right here. And that means the walkway has to go around the kindergarten. Um, but I still think is doable. Uh, absolutely. So we're going to place this gonna kind of tear these away we don't need this many walkways either uh you just got to consider where are these people who the people who live here where do they need to go and then just mostly just use the one that makes the most sense to get them there the quickest you know with distance uh, yeah so um education related kindergarten i want to put this right here hell yes right in the middle of all of this i like it right there all right, now I realize that's very close to the buildings. But again, you just have to consider where they need to go. And where they need to go is that way, which I can't get the... Hmm, maybe I do this. Can I just do this? Oh, maybe I'm not considering where they need to go very well. I was going to do... I obviously can do this, but then the road needs to go... Ah, uh, here we go. Like that. Uh, like this. Um... Darn it. Pull it back. Good enough? Nope. Ah. All right, hang on. Place this a different way. Tear it down. We're going to fix this. All right. I want to put this I want to put this uh, kindergarten right in here. Make these guys like surrounding it. Make it real easy for the kids, you know? I'm thinking about the kids here, not not anything else. Just, it's all about the children. You know what, though? I kind of like this. If I go really close, like this. Now, this footpath should be able to go right next to this building. Yep, all the way like this, and then connect there. You should go like this. Perfect, and then you're like this. All right, good. Now, that's acceptable because these homes, right? So they have to walk a little bit further to get to kindergarten, but that doesn't matter. Um, in fact, for this one, they might they might even go this direction. Uh, what matters is they can get everywhere they want to go, and uh, that's what I'm allowing them to do, like that. But now, the place can be staffed. Everyone can be lovely. Re oh. 167 people not able to enjoy culture. Really? Let's go outside. You know? Prance in the fields with your fellow... With your uh, with your friends. I don't know. Where are you guys all working? I know one building was dedicated to the food factory, but I'm just going to let everybody work wherever they want. Because when you tell people specific buildings to work at start running into issues with unemployment being too high because the place is full and they can't work there so you know whatever yeah okay so we're gonna do a manual purchase to get alcohol in and for the store we're gonna do a manual purchase to get food in and clothing and electronics oh oh fair enough uh-huh good just to get things in here okay now I don't want to limit this so I'm gonna like 
turn that off. Uh, and actually, maybe I should limit it. Maybe I should, yeah, we should go heavier on food, I think, here. So we could do something like this. This works for me. Yeah. Uh, but we have to reset up all of our distribution because those distribution centers were being told to deliver it to the old buildings. So now we have to find the distribution centers that were doing that and fix it. And I think it was these ones. I don't know that, but I think it was this building. Um, obviously, the forklifts need to be reconnected. So if we take a look at the forklift network. We need to add this. Oh, there's no fuel in you. I never set up the fuel distribution for you. Okay, hi, let's let's try this real quick. Did I do it here? You know, there's fuel in it. I think I'm auto-purchasing it. Maybe that was the one I clicked before. It's fine. We'll auto-purchase and then I'll fix it, okay? I had, when I built these before, I, a long time ago. Wow, this thing has been like at a third of capacity the whole time. No wonder. We're learning. We're learning of our mistakes. We're learning of our inadequacies. Um, let's add that building. Ooh, can't assign anymore. Fine. Uh, there's another forklift network somewhere, right? I thought there was three. Yeah, right here. Can you do it? You can indeed. Okay. Um, and then the distribution center over here, I think, was covering the pub. You can see it had to unload. We unloaded the distillery. That's not how that works. Well, okay, it might be because because crops. No, this distribution center is screwed. Load at the distillery, unload at the pub. Yeah, yeah, that's how that one works. Uh, and then there was another distribution center that was doing this too. So it was covered by two. That must be the only one that was working correctly. Uh, so. We're going to have to find the other one. I don't remember where the other one is. Maybe here. This is uh, open hull, cistern, dumpers. Uh, well, it is loading. Yeah, I think it was loading crops and, and bringing them to the distillery and stuff. I, I think. Um, I'm going to mark this. Yeah, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that be a thing. This is this is adequate the way it is already. That's pretty adequate. So we should start seeing people work in the bar, having alcohol, having a wonderful time. We should start seeing. This can go here and connect. And then you can just go between these buildings and connect too. That's fine with me. I'm all right with that. Why not? Let's just make this a big noodle mess of sidewalks. Look at all the, all the walkers, all these people walking to the destination. But this is going to be able to handle a lot more people and that's the important thing now to get electronics they're going to be grabbing from here i'm still having electrical components auto purchased right here and i think i can probably turn that off but we are delivering electronics to this warehouse and the the forklifts are going to bring it in here so the forklifts are going to bring in every resource we need from this existing network because it's all connected right because it's a circle it's all connected in there, so that's fine. Uh, now, the next thing I noticed, and I already set this up, so I didn't have to do it, but I noticed that our crops are a little bit low because we're using them for a lot of things in here, and it can start to impact things. So temporarily, I've got the food factory marked as auto buy on crops just so that doesn't happen, but I've fixed the problem now by having a new distribution office right here. So this distribution office has five trucks. And each of these five trucks are going to take the highway all the way over to here, okay? Uh, over here, yep. Oh, you know what? I should put another road in, because this, that is actually very difficult to reach by the road. You're, you're going down the, you're going down the dirt roads. They're going down the dirt roads to find that. Let's, let's fix that real quick. Uh, pop, let's just go like that. Yeah, I think they've been using dirt roads for this. Uh-uh. We don't we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to take and go like this and then Well, I mean, yeah, we're just going to go across and go like that. I feel like I want an alternative route. 
In any case, what they're doing is they are coming from that distribution office all the way over here with big trucks. And they're going to stop by this grain storage. Now, these distribution offices here, they're going to fill these first. These are the bigger priority. And you set that by basically just telling it what percentage you want. So all of these ones are set to 90%. So they're going to keep filling this to 90%. However, these ones, they're only being marked to fill to 30% or 29%, I guess. I, I don't know why it does that, but it does. Um, and be, by, by doing that, uh, they'll fill them all kind of equally until this gets to 29%. And then they'll focus all of these uh, to meet the minimums. And so... These are the priority because they're sending crops all the way over here. But like, really, the train is going to sit there a while while we're making all the chemicals and everything. So because that train is kind of like extended storage. So once these get to 90 percent, they start filling these up. And then if they fill these, well, they're just going to keep piling them in there until they're full. So these ones here, admittedly, and in hindsight, I'm not going to rebuild them. But what I should have done, absolutely, is re rearrange these differently and then did the road cargo station because these things can get crowded. But what I, I what I figured though, is that each one of these has two parking spots. So I just kind of did the math in my head and said, well, a road cargo station has four connections and that's cool, but it only has four parking spots. Uh, so if I do it, arrange it like this, well, that gives me 10 parking spots. That just seems better. And like, okay, in like on paper, that seems better. Yeah, um, but it can cause traffic jams a little bit when these things are delivering here and the other ones are gonna pick them up doesn't really matter uh the point of it though is that now i have a distribution office that's coming over here grabbing crops from these these access crops that we're that we're not using and it's going to truck them all the way over into here and start dropping them off in these uh these grain storage areas right so a lot of these trucks are going to start dropping it off it's going to drop it off here like it's doing right now right it's going to drop it off in this one uh, that's direct for food, so they're going to start pulling from that. But the forklifts and stuff can, I think, pull from this too. Uh, but that one's, that one's catering to that. Then there's this one. Forklifts will be pulling from this as well. And, uh, and then there's one more here. This one's actually a waste. We don't need this one. However, I'm still going to deliver food, uh, deliver crops to it. Because the trucking network can at least grab it and move it. But the forklift networks do does not have access to this. It's very silly, uh, but it can't access it. And since there's a lot of trucks moving on this road now, I think I'm just gonna because it's really quick to do. I'm just gonna upload or upload. I'm gonna upgrade that to uh, be a full road. Okay. So I've been messing with things, playing with things, and dealing with well things. And now it looks like I have another train issue. We are gonna do trains so much different next time, right? because there are definite problems with my train network uh, in this area. It's, it's usually this area. It's because I'm not really sure where I can put the signals to get the trains to not enter zones. They just don't seem to listen. Uh, you get trains that are very long that should never come through this area, but it does anyway. You get trains that have a route where they're supposed to, like the food train, it's supposed to go through here and then head that direction to go to that stop. But for some reason or another, it decides to turn around, go the opposite direction and wants to go all the way around this to get to there and it, it makes no sense um you, you could put custom waypoints but because they limit how many routes they limit how many waypoints you're allowed to have and uh how many stops you can have with a single train like you can't just this is not an endless list this will stop you right you can't just keep adding things and that's the reason to have multiple shorter trains as opposed to one big long train with all the resources on it it's because I can't put enough routes. I can't put enough stops with one big train to cover everything. So having smaller trains do it makes more sense uh, for individual resources. So yeah, anyway, that's that. Um, we're gonna have to fix the train issue. So I'm gonna take a look and see what the heck the problem actually is here. Cause I don't really see it. I'm not sure which, there's always one offender, which offender, which one's the offender, right? And in this case, I'm going to say it's probably this guy. Because this is a chain. So it's looking in the purple zone. It's clear. But it wants to go here. And this zone is not clear because of the orange. Um, so I, I have to get this guy to move. Well, this guy can't move. Why? Because this is in the, in, in the orange too. Okay. But it's also stopped here. Why is that stopped here? Well, 
Because there's a train in the green area. Why is there a train in the green area? Okay, well, because this guy is stretched. He's a little bit too far for that signal. Can I move that signal? Can I do anything about it? Well, this is a two-way track, or this is a this is a different kind of track here. So, I mean, I could, I think, technically get away with that, but I wanted the ability, right, for trains heading this direction to be able to use this bridge. And that they have been using that bridge, and that's what this crossing is for. So it lets people from this side swing into here and use this. Um, but we have another crossing right here, so they could always use that one instead. So I really don't need this. I don't believe. So why don't I go ahead and just remove this crossing, see if that changes anything. So it's a tweaking process. You know, we can tweak it. So now this signal, which probably should have been a chain, to be honest, because you want to, whether or not you progress this way is entirely dependent on what's happening around you. Um, so like this one's going like that, yep. And then, yep, and then this one goes around, yep, and this, yep. Okay, so I could get away with maybe going like this. And then turning this one into a chain. That way it's going to reference this, but it also references this side. So if there is a train here, like this one is, then it will stop here. Instead of stopping over there, and that stops, that's going to allow the trains that are... You know, trying to come from this way and allow them to keep going because they're not going to have to deal with the orange. But this is like an reiterative process. In hindsight, if I'm doing this over again, and I am, I'm making another colony, um, we're going to do trains a lot differently. Uh, okay, I don't know about a lot differently, but we're not going to have so many junctions at one point, okay? There's clearly been some mistakes made there, and I'm going to fix it. The next thing I did, and I fixed this. Right, so I, I want to talk to you about the coal train in a second, and I didn't fix the road, so I have to I have to do the road again. Uh, but we're doing that as soon as the uh, train network is, is solved. So we should start seeing trains move. This one should move now, and by that, this will clear the green area. Then this one will go, and when that happens, everything will start funneling in. Okay, uh, so in other words, these trains are going to start moving again because it's no longer in the in that zone. At least that's that's the hope anyway. Once this starts to move. Uh, so I can actually just do that now just to get it moving. And then I can go ahead and replace the signal. But now it will at least keep moving. Uh, okay, so in this side, I made my coal train a lot longer. Because this is starting to use more. We're starting to use a lot of steel. The coal train wasn't doing enough. It wasn't keeping this full. It is now. It's doing really well now. So I made the train longer. Instead of having a 1020 capacity, it now has a 2100 capacity makes it twice as long problem with that is that now the cars start stretching in and getting in the way of trains that want to go that way right it never used to happen it used to be that the coal train would stop right here and everything would be fine i have that problem now so i made a third track the coal train comes like this and it deviates and goes that way instead okay now it may also still choose to do this so I don't want it to do that, of course. So now the coal train will always choose that path because it has no other path to choose. Uh-huh. Getting rid of that. So now this train can just go whoop. And that pretty much makes this pointless. Um, I would like this to not be a thing. Uh, so now it's all going to kind of work a little bit better, I think. Trains that are going this direction can proceed through here and can go this way straight through uh trains are going this way can go this way but this signal is pointless now so bye uh so they can go this way right so everything can kind of flow but what i did is by having this third track i allow the coal train to now stop right here where it needs to stop and not be in the way trains can still move through this area via this track which is still two ways and there's still a uh you know, waypoints and stuff for certain trains to do that. Um, but the coal train is now out of the way by being on a separate third track here. So I need to fix the roads. And uh, this road can just... Uh, well, this road's going to be difficult with me because it's really close to all these intersections. So uh, I'll just go like that. Oh, come on now. Don't be that way. You really shouldn't be that way. There you go. You know you want to. 
Yeah, there you go. All right, and then the same thing with the uh, the walkway here. Need to reconnect that too. All right. Now, to be to be honest, this is actually pretty stupid. Let's let's actually not do that. Let's fix this instead of creating extra problems. The walkway. Um, I think the walkway doesn't matter, <laughs> but this this should probably be a bridge, right? If we can get away with it, and we may not be able to because it's, you know, it's really close to this uh, conveyor belt here. But I think if we can get away with a bridge being here, we should try. So um, I'm going to have this road, I think, curve in. See if we can get this road to, yeah, going about like that instead. And then we'll have the bridge. This is up pretty high. I think we could probably make that happen. Just gonna just making little tweaks today, right? While we're letting it run and uh, making tweaks. This gives them an alternative route, so I'm gonna let that run. Let the trains clear, maybe. And then we want to go over top. So the bridge. Uh 77 meters apart? That's too expensive. Um, let's try uh We don't need any electrical roads or anything. 42 might be alright. We definitely want. Oh, you're not gonna let me. Well, I mean, does it does it work though? Does it? Does it work though? Um, well, I mean, it, okay, so it does, but it doesn't, because it will go, but the space between the, yeah, the spacing isn't gonna work. We need to go planning mode here with this. So I need a, I need them to be farther apart. Seventy-seven meters might be all right. Um, as long as it lets me build up, doesn't look like it's going to. It, it, the further away the pillars are, the harder it is to get this to to go up sharply. Maybe it's just one of these little ones. I know it's counterintuitive, but what about the 27? I mean, maybe if I can space it out just right, maybe it'll be maybe it'll work itself out. So if we go something like this. What's the top speed on this bridge? Okay, 100 kilometers is more than adequate. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, so, like, this works. And it kind of looks cool, but I, I worry I can't come down fast enough. Like, this is... There's no way I can bring this down, right? Um, so I'm gonna have to... Well, I might have to just... I don't know, merge it over? This is the struggle. No, this is the this is the struggle with going over top of it. I'm definitely not doing rails. <laughs> Rail bridge is out of the question. There's too many rails here. But uh, I think maybe we could get this to come down from here a little bit. Kind of like, ooh, it's just, yeah, I don't think so. Can I, can I curve it? Like, can there be a curved bridge? Like, these look like they're curved bridges, right? Like, they'll they'll curve. Yeah. Yeah, I want this. And you can bring it, yeah, like this. It doesn't look as cool as that wooden bridge does. But it has the benefit of actually working. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's what matters. I don't like how this overlaps there, though. I think you need to have a road comes out a little bit to make it look good. You need to have something like this for the bridge to connect to, which requires me to come down a little faster than I am. Let me see if I can... It's going to look a little weird, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, as long as it clears... I don't think it does because of those, the electrical lines, right? That electrical line is, is clipping into it, and I don't like it. But this is the kind of stuff, you know? The kind of stuff you can do and, and play around with with games like this. There's so many options and so many ways to solve problems, you know? Maybe we'll try this. I, I'm, I could make that work, but I, I don't like the way it looks. Um, but I can try it like this instead. We'll come out from this side. 
and just kind of curve the road. So maybe it goes like this and then we curve the road. Hi there. Can you move? Thanks. And we'll just kind of curve it like this. Wow, that's such a big... I need... I need... Need right angles in this game. I need right angles with roads. They're so annoying. Give me right angle. <laughs> Alright, try this again. I'm gonna come up like this. Uh huh. Maybe I don't come up as high. That might. Well, I mean, I have to clear the electrical. Yeah. So I come out like this. And then, uh. Like that. Hey, you know, that actually looks halfway decent. Aside from this part, which I can now remake. But I'm going to build that. And then I'm going to tweak this just a little bit. Well, uh, I guess it'll be a little more than a little bit now. We'll just do it like that. Okay? Can do it. Walking path. We can connect you. I don't even know where you were connected before. I guess you probably ran under the bridge. You'll run like this and then under the bridge... Or not. Hi. Why not? Can you run under the bridge? Well, that's... I mean, I realize that's questioning me. Ah. Whatever, just run along the road. Who cares? Yeah, just run along the road. And then uh, what we can do is... Wait for the autosave. What we can do is just upgrade this to be streets. And then they can, you know... They can walk a little easier in this area now. Big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and make, get that done. I didn't have this marked with, with resources, so now I need to wait for everything to work. There we go. And there we go. Anything else highlighting yellow for me? No, we're good. We're good. All right, so, you know, I mean, maybe that doesn't disrupt trucks as much. We'll see. I mean, trucks don't really move through here very much anyway, but any opportunity we can to stop traffic to, from having to wait for trains is, I suppose, probably a good idea. Going along that note, I think this would be a great idea. This is a great road here to go as a bridge. Like, look at all these people waiting, right? This is our next bridge right here. Yep. Uh, but the problem, though, is that this connects, right? So how do we get this to connect? Uh, I have to move this. Right? What if I... If I said screw it. <laughs> We've learned our lesson. We'll do it right next time. No, I want to do it right this time. I want to I want to tweak it. I want to get it I want to get it going. So, uh this I think what we'll do is first off, can we get people to not use this? I need you to stop wanting to use this. But everyone is so, like, I want to use it. And I, I don't think I can even delete this. There's always cars waiting to use this road. But if there's ever a moment where there isn't cars waiting to use this road, that would be great. Because this is my now... Oh, this is a very bad spot, isn't it? Oh, dude. Then if I let cars come through here, though... What's that going to do to traffic internally in here? Traffic internally in here is also pretty bad. From this, going this direction. Oh, is it this? Okay, we have some, we have some traffic issues. I definitely need to assess my traffic issues. I may or may not have exceptional traffic issues. I can neither confirm nor deny traffic issues. If I can cut some of this road anywhere and get them to use another street, I will. So, can I cut? Come on, just let me cut it. Yeah, I, I don't know how to... How do you do that? Let me know in the comments. How do you handle when you want to redo a whole road? Because the game requires you to just completely... To have nobody using the road in order to delete it. How do you get people to stop using it so that you can delete it? Because to me, it seems like I have to put in waypoints, right? That's the only way. You put in waypoints like uh, maybe like this, right? 
and then you're like, okay, as soon as there's no cars between these two waypoints, I'm going to hit the button. Good luck with that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I'll fix this, and we'll see about getting a bridge or something. Uh, next video should be up, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, next day. Um, still working on... I need to get my website remade. I'm working on remaking my website so that it can accept the information needed for our Kerbal project. And I'm also working on my some networking issues and uh, trying to figure out if there's anything I can do to diagnose the problem. That'd be great. Looks like I got a lot of traffic, but it's all headed that way, right? All the traffic problems are heading that direction now on this road. The other, the other way is fine. So yeah, definitely have to work on that. I'm gonna maybe see about that. And if there's nothing I can do, well, then I'll learn it for next time. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.